Okay, now for our Dreamweaver CS6 users, I thought what I would do is include a handful of lessons to at least get you started down the path of responsive design using the new features that we find inside Dreamweaver CS6, specifically the fluid grid layout features. So what I'm going to do here right from the get-go inside Dreamweaver is I'm going to head to the file menu and then down to this new option here inside the file menu, new fluid grid layout. And if you're a Dreamweaver user, go ahead and follow me along here. And you know, even if you're not a Dreamweaver user, you might be interested in some of these new features and might want to at least get a preview of them. As soon as I choose this new command, fluid grid layout, we're brought into this screen here, and as you can see, we have our three devices here, mobile, tablet, and desktop. Now, note the sizes that Dreamweaver is targeting by default, 480 pixels for mobile, 768 for tablet, and 1232 for desktop. So a little bit different than what I'm going to be targeting myself, but this is at least what Dreamweaver is using here. And then the value that we see in the middle of each of these devices is the number of columns, these pink guideline columns that we have here for each device. So you can go and change these if you want. Maybe I wind up using four for mobile and perhaps six for tablet and maybe desktop I decide to leave at 10. And then beneath the mobile device, we have this guy here, percentage of column width, a little cryptic, a little difficult to understand. All that is, is the gutter, the space between the columns, not only for mobile, but for the other two devices as well. And then last but not least, we have a percentage value beneath all three devices. This is the percentage of the overall width of the device that the layout would occupy. So what I'm going to do here for my very brief, very quick look at this is I'm going to change all of these to 100% right across the board. So that's all I'm going to do here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on create here down in the bottom right corner. Now, as soon as I click on create, Dreamweaver wants to save out an external style sheet. Notice this here, .css. So give me a moment here. I've navigated all the way up to my desktop and I'm going to go and create a new folder here. And I'm just going to call this fluid grid layout. This is just going to be a quick temporary folder that I create. And I should probably give my external style sheet a decent name. You could call it Fluid Grid or Styles or something like that. And then I'll go ahead and save this guy out. All right, there we go. Now, we're dropped into this new view here, this new Fluid Grid layout view. And maybe what I'll do is I'll put the brakes on here and let you get caught up to where I am if you're following along here. And in the next exercise, I'll show you some of the neat things that we have available to us here inside this new fluid grid layout view.